If you look at the way we discuss politics in this country today, it's not a pretty picture. Too often, what passes for political discourse consists of shouting matches on cable television and talk radio, ideological food fights on the floors of Congress. I think we can do better, and the way we can do better, I think, is to get in the habit of engaging more directly with the big ethical questions, including questions of justice and rights, the meaning of citizenship and the common good, big philosophical questions, really, that lie just beneath the surface of the arguments we have. As you may have glimpsed, even in that excerpt, we debate in the classroom questions which many people say can't be debated. They're too fraught to be debated on university campuses. I don't think that's true. We debate affirmative action in same-sex marriage and income distribution and civic obligation with students who have very disparate views. And what we aim for is to develop the habit of listening, not necessarily agreeing, but listening to engage with the big ideas and the big principles that lie behind the convictions that students, and for that matter, citizens, bring to public life. I think two things have been happening in American life in recent decades. One of them is the impoverishment of civic discourse. That's what we need to elevate. Another thing that's been happening, it's gotten perhaps less attention, is the reach of markets and market thinking into spheres of life traditionally governed by non-market values. And this has been happening over roughly the last three decades, a period you might almost call a period of market triumphalism, a time when there's been a growing faith in the idea that markets are the primary instrument for achieving the public good. I think these two developments are not entirely unrelated, are shrinking from substantive engagement with big ethical questions in politics and the era of market triumphalism. Before I try to explain why, what I would like to do here is to see whether we can have a discussion, we're an intimate group, <laughs> a discussion about the role of markets and market incentives in one sphere of life that is rightly governed by other values, but where there are public debates about where exactly markets belong and where they don't, where they can help and serve the public good, and where they shouldn't go. Education. So let's see if we here can engage in a debate on what I know are contested questions. People will disagree, I suspect, and see if we can engage in reasoned discourse, even argument, about things that we care about. Are you ready to give it a try?